Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my Celebration Clutch Bag. <clears throat> it's a super cute little clutch bag. It opens up with a little tiny magnet and these are actually smaller than the ones I normally use so I do need to <clears throat> check them and get the, um, the bigger size. But yeah, it's a cute little gift bag. Um, it is relatively big, big enough to fit some little treats in there. Um, and yeah, and as you can see, the top is used, and the top is made, sorry, using the Celebration Labels dies. Really simple. You can, you've almost got your halfway mark anyway, so they're easy enough to fold in half and just really pretty. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So to start off with, you're going to need a sheet of cardstock that is six inches by 11 inches, which is 15 by 28 and a half. You will notice mine's already scored and that's because I started filming and then went completely wrong. So um, I had only got two measurements, which didn't make any sense at all. So I had to just go away and remeasure. Okay, so on the long side, we're gonna score at one inch, five and a quarter, six and a quarter, and ten and a half and in centimetres that will be two and a half, thirteen and a half, sixteen and twenty-seven centimetres. Then we're going to rotate it and score at one inch which is two and a half centimetres. Okay, we're going to fold and burnish these. Oh crikey, I don't know what that is or where it's come from. But I shan't worry at this time because it's on the inside. So that's good. Okay. So as we do with all of our cute little gift bags, we're going to cut these bottom sections here. And then when we get to the end, we're going to cut away that piece there. And before I go any further, I want to just add some, just try to find my ruler. Where your um, bag folds in the corner, you really need to add some score lines just to help it fold and crease tidily. So what I did with this one is I measured an inch up from the bottom because I don't want it to fold all the way because I don't need it to. So I just measured from my bottom score line here, I just measured up an inch or two and a half centimetres. Again measured the centre of there, so for me it's half an inch, um, it will be the mid half of two and a half centimetres and then you'll just join those up. Do exactly the same again on your narrow section here. So one inch, half an inch at the top which is the centre point and then just score across from those. And then once you've done that we can then pop this little bag together. So I've got my seal plus here just to run down this tab. Let's call it the end there. I'm just going to fold that over and that onto it. Tuck those bottom pieces in there and again run my seal plus across and that's created my little bag and then I'm just simply here pushing those sides together and just encouraging that to crease there and then I'm doing exactly the same this side so again just push them together I don't know why that one's not decided to go down its score line playing up that one there we go, that's better. So then when you pinch them together, they, they are equal. Pop that to one side, because now I need these beautiful dies. 
So I've got the largest one and the second to largest. I have some cardstock here for the largest one and then another one, as I say, there. So bring in my lovely machine. And again, I'm just using one, two and three sandwich there on the base. Let's pop my cardstock in first and then my number three on the top. Oops, so I'm just going to run that one through. And then just remove those just to one side and pop this one in. Now I'm using this one close to the edge this time because I need some space to pop, punch my daisies out. But also um, this DSP just fits on your plate, which is really helpful. So I'm just going to run this one through and then I'll just move this out of the way, get rid of those, pop this out of the way and then bring all of that back in. So those are my beautiful dies which will just sit in here out of the way. Those are my die cuts and then I'm actually going to use my trimmer here or you can use your scoreboard and all I want to do is line up these two um, divots here and then I'm just going to score down there so it will fold over and then just give it a little burnish. And do exactly the same with the one in the DSP. Give it a little score and fold it over. Open this one out, stick some adhesive on it, and then put it into the centre of your card. Just make sure you've got an equal distance either side on the blue or whatever colour you're using and then just score that, uh, sorry burnish that on just to make sure that adhesive stuck and there's your lid ready and done. Just need some of my seal plus here just to make sure this stays where it should. I nearly put it on the pink one then. Make sure I've got the back of my box there. And again, I'm just gonna squeeze this shut and place it on here. And the good thing is, is that this does actually fit central. And then obviously just take your hand just inside and press it down. So when you pinch that together, your lid closes. Just quickly do my daisies. And then grab my glue dot. So one's going on that centre. Spin that one over and put it on top of the other. And then again, just one on the centre, this one. And that will go in that corner. And then I just used the beautiful gilded gems to add my flower centre. There. And then last but not least are my teeny tiny magnets. So I just need ooh, two of them. 
And again, as I said, these are smaller than the ones I've used before. But all I'm going to do is pop a glue dot on that one. My tool. Then pick them up and put my glue dot on the other side. And if you can and you're careful, you can use your glue dot paper just to squeeze them together. And then pop them wherever you want them to be on your bag. And again, just close it down. And because it's quite narrow, you can actually squeeze front to back to hold that glue dot in place. And there you have it, your celebration clutch bag. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day. Bye.